up everyone? I'm here with another DJ Tech Tutorial and in this video I'm going to be talking about Rekordbox subscriptions. Yes, you've heard it again, Rekordbox subscriptions. I'm not sure if everyone gets the message but um, I've made videos about it and I don't expect every Pioneer DJ user to come across my videos and there's probably many others. I'm not the only one who does these things. So I wanna answer just a few questions to give you guys some clarification, to give you guys peace of mind so that way you're not running around in the dark. How and where can I put the license key I receive with the DDJ400? What do I get when I input this? So obviously they get this license key um, in, this, in this little card, they download the latest record that they download the latest version of record box which is version 6 and I uh, said so what do I put my license key because as you can see usually in well, in the other versions of record box there's a license thing over here well I want to tell you guys that you don't use the license key for version 6 with version 6 it's a hardware unlock this is how you find out if your controller is um, well hardware unlocks uh, record box. If you have a DDJ400, just like I do have here, um, it's hardware unlockable. So I'm just going to get onto Safari, recordbox.com. I'm going to get over to support and then click on compatible DJ units. And as you can see here, it's a chart of all the Pioneer DJ gear. Uh, that, show, that shows you what is uh, compatible with Rekordbox. Here's export mode, which is you know free to use. SD and USB export is completely free with Pioneer DJ players. Um, it is used free with uh, Pro DJ Link if you're using some CDJs along with some mixes that are Pro DJ Link compatible, no problem at all. Then the, and then we get onto performance mode, which is you know, record box DJ, right? With the CDJ3000, if you plug it in, it's a plug in and play. It unlocks performance mode. You're able to control performance mode with your decks, right? Um, with the rest of the CDJs here, it says pay, which means you require um, a subscription, either a core or a creative plan. And as I scroll down here, you get your all-in-one DJ systems like your XZ, your RX2, uh, your RR, which is hardware unlockable. With the XDJ R1, again, an old all-in-one, you required a paid subscription. Mixers as well, as you scroll down here uh, to controllers, okay, the majority of the controllers are um, Rekordbox compatible and will hardware unlock Rekordbox, which means you do not need a license key. Okay, if you want to go uh, go over to Record Box 5, that's perfectly fine. It is still supported. So mind you, with all the questions I'm, I'm, I'm answering today, it can all be found in the FAQ section. Now onto the second question. Hi, I can no longer connect my controller with my laptop to perform on Record Box. Okay, many factors. I've got um, videos about audio drivers, so be sure, uh, be sure to look at that. But in the sense of um, um, license keys and such, so for example, if you've got a, um, a DJ controller that is a DDJ SB2, SX, SZ, you need to subscribe to a, uh, to a plan in order to use it with Rekordbox in performance mode. Going through to that, compatib um, that compatible sheet, right over here. Okay, as you can see, the SX requires a paid subscription. All right, so that answers that. I purchased a, sub a subscription in the belief that it will provide me with a license key to access controller functions. All right, so what are the two plans? We have core and creative. Okay, core and creative. And uh, you'll go through this by yourself in uh, the differences between those two, but if you have a controller that needs a subscription in order to work with record box mode, it doesn't come with a license key, yeah? It does not come with a license key whatsoever. The license keys are only available, uh, are only for Rekordbox version five. You cannot buy one outright anymore. You cannot buy a plan with a license key anymore. It's only these two for Rekordbox version six. Think of it now as like a Spotify or any other type of subscription. You subscribe to something, it's linked to your account and all you gotta do is activated. How do you activate it? Uh, get onto, when you're at Rekordbox, 
uh, get onto my page. Okay, I will pop up a window with information, plan, library sync, and Kuvo. Click onto plan. And it should populate with your plan in order for you to activate it with a flick of a switch. That's how you activate it. And after that, you'll be able to, you know, start controlling with your, um, with your set. Are you telling me that I have the incorrect one required for the DJ platform? Both subscription plans give you the ability to control on performance mode. Performance mode, control with DJ gear. So free with hardware unlocked device, hardware unlocked devices only. There's a link that takes you to the compatibility chart. I got a DJ 400, hardware unlocks. If you have another controller like a DDJ SX, SZ, SB, SB2, you need the core or a creative subscription. So hopefully that answers those questions. If you got further more questions, put it in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one.